Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome back to my creative studio. I am really thrilled that you're here with me today. At least I hope you all came back. You all said you would, so hopefully you're here with me. Um, today I have lots of things to share with you. Things I've been making and things that are happening and news. And we're going to do a craft and chat. So craft with me. So anyway, um, I've been gone a little bit, as you know, and it's because I haven't been well. In fact, I've been very sick. I've been in bed uh, for weeks. I've also been at doctor appointments and lots of tests and things and results. And I think we're nailing it down. Um, I have one more test to go probably today. Uh, it's probably happening as you're watching this video. And that'll be it. So hopefully, uh, well... For a couple weeks anyway, till I go back to the cardiologist. So, um, in a couple weeks. So that's what's new there. I haven't been well, so I really haven't been crafting all that much. Um, what you see here is about all I've done in the last two or three weeks. It's not a lot, just piddle around each and every day. But I thought I'd share with you some of what's here. Um, I'm out of practice. Cameras might not be in the same place. I just don't really know because we had pushed the arm back, you know, and we didn't have it where it was. So um, we reset it up and I don't know. I'm not sure what's you know, what's happening. So we'll see if that's going to work. So I thought I'd share with some of the things I've been doing and then we'll go ahead and do some crafting uh, if that's okay with you. So um, what I'll do is I'll pull like a little bit of it off. Now, one of the things I did was I made these pretty bling keys and these are to use on either the covers of the journal or to dangle from the journal. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous, right? Um, and it was just a matter of glue, lots of glue with uh, keys. Some of the keys are real, some are faux keys, you know, but they were very fun to do. One day I just, I saw something on Instagram I really liked, but they weren't as fancy as this. They were more simple. So, you know me, I had to do some bling keys. I call these my bling keys. So I made these one day. And honestly, I just used Fabri-Tac to put them on. Fabri-Tac works as well as E6000. I don't know if it'll last for 100 years, but probably for long enough, um, you know, for what I want to do. So... And then another thing I made, I made some paper bows. Now, I did not use a die cut machine. I actually saw a lovely video on Shabby Dabby Doo Dot on how to make these. So I did, and I put all, but I added all kinds of lace and goodies and bling to mine. Oh, before I go any further, I hope you're all well. I hope you're doing better than I've been doing. I hope everybody's well and happy and safe and you're enjoying good weather. Uh, it's been like in the seventies and eighties, all the way down to 64 and all the way up to 88. So, you know, sometimes within a day, within 24 hours, we've gone a 35 degree swing. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd show you some of these pretty bows I made, and these are to go on either journal covers or I'll show you what else they could go on. I'll, I'll, um, And uh, the papers that I used here are from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. She has the most beautiful papers to make pretty bows with. So, and I can add, we have made them. I can add more lace back here. I can tuck lace in behind. I can zhuzh them up even more, you know. Um, sorry, that's Misty Moo howling at the door because I've closed the door. I haven't been in here, so she's all upset. Usually if I'm in here, she's with me. Of course, today... Miss Misty is on the other side of the door and she doesn't like it. So, aren't these pretty? I just use scraps out of my scrap bucket um, to make them. Isn't that pretty? So, I haven't uh, glued every bit down, but um, these are, again, not made with a die cut. They were actually made with an envelope punch. And there is a video on Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. So, if you really, really want some, you know, go watch her video. Um, she's the queen, so probably good to see her. So I made some of these one after one afternoon, um, went on a good day. I had some good days, but I spent a lot of time in bed. So anyway, um, what I did with those was I made these giant tags. These are collage. I did them in a video. I think if you remember, I made these big giant ones. Well, I put these pretty bows on it and I 3D blinged them out. And there's a pocket here and goodies here and then we have this one 
And what I did was I mimicked what was in the picture. I added, it, it had rhinestones on here and, you know, a photograph and I added the real thing. And I added real pearls and then I added the pretty bows. And there's, they're gonna be stuffed pockets. They're gonna be full of goodies. And I am currently working on all the goodies that are going into those pockets. So again, this is Ula La Vintage Treasures. And for those, you know, I used her Ruffles and Roses, her Valley Dreams, her Chiffon Elegance, her Ruffles and Roses Vintage and Vintage Sampler. So all of the goodies that I played with come from all of the Ula La Vintage Treasures. And aren't they pretty? Now, these are pretty big. I mean, this is a big, we're going to stuff it. It's more of a standalone piece. Um... Yeah, because that's eight and a half long by five and a half wide. So this is pretty big. You could probably put it in with a journal if you don't add the bow and the bling. You kept it more plain. But there is a lovely, um, you know, pocket you can put all this in when I get it all decorated up. And it's going to be stuffed. And then I also made these lovely... Um, sample cards so these are sample cards as you could see and these are real laces they're vintage laces that i've added to those and aren't they pretty and that's just a little paper clip that i've added there and aren't those lovely and they are going to go with the big tag so i worked on that quite a bit and let's like I said, if I had a good day, I did a little work. So it kind of just depended on the day. Then I worked on Rachel's challenge. One of her challenges, I think this was 16. And this was fun. These are to go in my um, current journal that I'm working on, the flip-flop. As you know, I haven't really been able to work on it much. But I thought I would share with you um, what I had here. And that's a document and then you open it like that and you open it like that and you have a pocket and you can fill that pocket this is a pocket close that close that close that and you have a lovely piece to add into your um your journal pockets which is what's gonna they're gonna go these are going to go into my um oh yeah and there's a little tag on the back and then you know you just tie it up Super easy, really fun. I really, really, really enjoyed making these. This was a day where I just sat and decorate. One day I did all the cutting and folding and another day I just sat and did all the decorating and, you know, did that. So we have this one. This one's really pretty too. And these all go, are designed to, this is a pocket here and I have a little card in it. And then there's a, a pocket here and one here and one here so as you can see there there's all kinds of pockets and goodies to fill which i haven't done that yet and at some point i will do that you know or i may just leave it like that and let the person who gets it with the journal because there'll be these there'll be two or three of these in each signature there'll be one in each signature and there's four signatures in the journal so we'll definitely have most of the pockets will have some fun goodie like this in it for you to play with I did make a sample for my sample book for the, this is all from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So um, this one's pretty, isn't it? They're very old world, uh, elegant style. This, you have a pocket, you have a pocket here, you have a pocket here, and it just kind of, you know, it's not a, it's a, it folds out pretty good. So that's what you have there. And they all have a little goodie on the back. And, um, whoops, I think I folded that the wrong way. Let's go like this. So, we had lots of goodies from there. And um, it's a little tricky. Not tricky, but you just got to know how you, how you wrapped it up, you know, so that you can... There we are. And they open in different ways on each one. So no two open exactly the same direction. Struggling with this one a little bit. Did I just 
do that wrong? Yeah, I did. That's why it didn't want to tie. I'm like, what's wrong with this? It's just running it around. And then I used the Baker's Twine in brown and in gold, which I thought looked really lovely. And like I said, I also made a sample one for my book so I can make more if I want. But I love the way they feel. They look very old world and they definitely go in our old world um, flip-flop journal. So these are going to go in there. So, and then also for that, I made, made lots of goodies for it. I've been working on things for it. I made these lovely little goodies. And these, I don't remember where I saw these. I think G Curve, but I'm not positive. And that's these. And it's just a little writing paper that you can, you know, uh, write on. And you can write on the inside. It's just a little note to put inside. So I made these. And they're identical, so I'm not going to open them all, you know. Um, but they were fun to ink and make. And... These were cute, so I made these to go in the pockets because I want to fill up the pockets for that journal, and there's quite a few pockets, you know, if you look at it. And then um, this goes in one of the pockets. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she lovely? She has got bling on her. I don't know if you can see the bling. Oh, there it is. And then she has some pretty corners, and she's mounted on some pink paper. So that goes in a pocket. And with that, I have all of these beautiful little journal cards. These are journaling cards. Uh, you could write on the back over that lace, but I made these. And all of these are on my Instagram if you want close-up pictures. And so one day I just sat and pulled out all of my, um, my little flowers and my bows and all my scrap laces and made these to go in the pockets of my journal oh this this is just a little dangle i made um from ooh la la vintage treasures from one of her new kits so i just created a pretty little dangle to hang on those pretty pockets but you can put those on anywhere i mean i love to make dangles that's one of my favorite things to do i don't do them as often as i would like but i do try to make them when i can um, I'm getting better at like doing stuff like that, you know, so let's see. Now these each have a home. That one goes in there and this one goes there and I believe she's going to go right behind. Beautiful. Huh? And then she goes in there. And let's see if I've done anything. I don't know that I did anything new. I don't think I did. Um, maybe a little bit. I don't know if I did these with you or not. I honestly don't remember. But I have not been able to work on this much. I've been pretty, like I said, under the weather. So there wasn't a lot of that. But I was making things whenever I felt good enough to go into that journal. So these are going to go into pockets on the other signatures which I need to get a move on and get that baby done I have a whole box of ephemera to put in there so I want to get on that and plus I have a box of ephemera I need to finish to put in there so we don't need quite so much so anyway that's what I've been up to what have you guys been making anything exciting and new I have missed all of you um I don't know honestly I'm still not um completely well. I'm not well. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a long while. Um, it's a long haul. And then um, we're going to do all we can to get me back on my feet 100%. But I um, don't know how often I'll do videos. Honestly, we'll see. I mean, I may, if I'm making something for my journal, I may turn on the camera for a little bit. And then again, I may not, you know, I just don't really know. So just, I guess, be sure you get the notifications that you're subscribed and you get the bell so you know when I have a video. Otherwise, you may never see my videos because now I've dropped out of the queue for after, you know, two weeks of not being on there. You know, you kind of lose your place in line with YouTube. So I thought I would take some scraps and today and make some little uh, pocket fillers. <clears throat> and these little pieces here, these are from G. Kerr. She has a new kit out and they're her scrap script ephemera. Love them. Uh, and then I have um, from my own. These are from my shop on a jewel design. And then this was a, an epic fail. 
These are papers, my own papers from my stash that I've copied, you know, for my, from my, oh, that's just spare. So we're going to need that actually for some more tags. I actually need to put that with my other, I've got more ladies to put in there. Um, so, um, these, and then, uh, we'll use some book page and we're just going to have a little play. And I think we're also going to do a little stamping. So I thought we kind of just got a little bit of time. As long as my energy holds out, we'll do a little, we'll do a little craft with me. Why don't you guys get some scrap paper out and, and, um, the scrap paper I'm going to be using are all these little bits from coffee dyed paper and Kool-Aid dyed paper and, uh, avocado dyed paper. I have both here. So I just have all these little scraps that I thought it would be fun to create just some little fillers. Oh, you guys, I just broke my nail. How did I do that? Ugh. Well, I'll have to fix that after. Ooh, that's a rough one too. I hope I don't scratch myself. Anyway, um, I thought I would use some of these on these and create some little goodies. Now these are just like little mini folders and, or a little mini notebook you can make. I just want a whole bunch of things to use in my pockets, either for this journal or maybe an upcoming journal. See, some just look like that. They're just folded bits. Let's see, these are all flat bits. Oh, there's a folded one right there. Another one that you can just stick in the pockets to write on. You know, we just want to kind of decorate the fronts. I've been excited to do these. I just haven't got to it yet. So, um... I thought what I would do, maybe like I'll just start with a plain one to begin with and go from there. And I think what I'll do is I'll put some either book page or some paper on there. I need my ruler. So let's get busy. Let's do a little, come on, craft with me. Get out some goodies and let's craft. We'll have quite a few scraps and we're done, I'm sure. Just want to do like some layering, you know what I mean? Um, Oh, darn it. That nail's going to drive me crazy because I keep scratching myself with it. Owie, hold on a minute. I'm going to grab a file. Excuse me for fixing this online, but I mean, I really don't want to cut myself because that's sharp. I must have banged it on something prior to coming up here and didn't realize it. Oh boy, that really broke. Oh my goodness. Okay. I may not be able to fix it. Probably have to get the clippers and cut it off so I'll have no nail there again. Oh my goodness. All right. Haven't been doing anything so my nails actually start growing. How exciting. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with book page. So I did grab a bunch of book page here. Oh, let's get some. This is vintage. And it's a picture dictionary so it has pictures of things which I don't want to use that so I'll probably save that little picture because that could be used in something no I just oh I got any closer would have bit me now I'm out of way out of practice so be be patient with me I'm hoping to do a few I have a bunch of different pockets and filler I want to make for this so I thought well I could just bring you along if you would like um, some of the pockets you might not have seen, some you may have seen in the past, depends on, you know, who you watch or, um, you know, what you like. I'm going to take this little doggy. This looks like a retriever. It is. Oh, I had a golden retriever once for 16 years until he passed away from ill health. I want this to be taller. That's not very tall once I cut that off, is it? Well, let's see if I have, I mean, have a bunch of pieces here. I could just find one that's smaller, right? And put it on there. I guess I don't have smaller. Ah, oh, here's one. Okay, we could do that. It's still too tall. Ah, uh, let me see what we have here. Okay, this one has no words. So, we'll put that back for now. We'll use the one with no words. Let's try that. Let me get rid of the um, sides. Because I don't... Yeah, that'll work. What have you guys been making? Are you working? I know many of you that I that follow me are 
I see your projects on Instagram and they all look beautiful. You guys have been hard at work. I posted a little bit of on Instagram, but I didn't do much. There we go. That went pretty well. There we are. That's better. Let me get... You'll get the gist of what I'm doing here in a minute. Let me get my glue board. I mean, I glue right on this board. It's no biggie, but... You know, glue stick is so darn sticky. So, let me see where I'm at. Make sure I'm in camera. Okay, I am. Like I said, we did move everything around, so... This is pretty frail, so to be careful not to rip it down the middle. Rip off a corner. Hmm. Neighbors are out. Of course, it was quiet two seconds ago. It's always the way it is. Always, always, always. Okay, so... That's right, I don't usually like to use glue stick because A, it makes a mess, but B, it um, warps it. Now I want to use those, I want to use some kind of, and then I want to put an image on there. I mean, we can use as many layers as we want or not. I am going to ink a little bit. I meant to ink the book page, but it's pretty old looking, and so I think it's fine. I will say though, when the glue dries, it does make it much stiffer and it has a nice feeling to it. So. What I'm gonna do is do some layers, not too many because then we won't get much done, but we'll try. Hmm. It is Mother's Day. So for those of you, I hope you had a happy or have a happy Mother's Day. Hope you had a good one. You'll see this on Monday. I'm filming this on Mother's Day. Not doing anything today. I was supposed to go to the movies with my hubby. We're going to go tomorrow after my tests. And then um, I was supposed to shop with my daughter yesterday, but one of my lovely migraines popped up. So that didn't happen. So we'll go maybe Tuesday during the week. It'll be quieter in the stores. And won't, if we want to go out and have lunch, you know, we won't have to fight any crowds. So that'll be nice. Okay. Now they all won't be square like this. I mean, this is just, I'm warming up. So I want... Um, Yes, I want some. Now I'm knocking things on the floor. Where'd my little envelope go? I had a little envelope full of these bits and pieces. Ugh. Oh, and I've went to I just. Nope, I thought I knocked it on the floor. These sleeves are going to drive me crazy. I didn't think anything about it when I put them on. I thought, oh, they're pretty. I'll wear it. But then I didn't realize it was going to be a problem. This is pretty. I think I want to get rid of the edges, though. I would rip it. Uh, I guess I could use the Tim Holtz cutter. That would give me the ripped look. It does feel good to be back. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch though. I'm gonna kind of put it at a little bit of an angle and then we could just put a, a focal point. I am gonna get out my art glitter glue because it's starting to warp pretty good here. Now you can put whatever you want on it. These little bits and pieces from G Kerr are fabulous. I love them. I think they're perfect for this. 
The only thing is I just went over the edge a little bit. So now all we need is a focal point. Now I don't know if I'll put focal points on every one of them right now, but we have a pretty little um, tag to put in a pocket. So I could I have this women's planner and it has all these beautiful flowers. I don't know if... Hmm, I don't think I want to use that. I think what I do have though... I do have these. Where are these by? Oh, this is Happiness and Crafting, which is G. Kurt, and it's got some lovely ladies. And I could definitely put them on there. They're tiny. That's what I like about them. They're just small little ladies. Let me see what we have. Small to large. Hmm. Excuse my stomach. It is growling hard. I want to see what I have here for images. It's been a while since I've looked at these. Oh, that's pretty. A lot of these are sort of 1920s images, but not all of them. So, and Of course, I have the big images, which I don't want. I just want smaller ones. So maybe I'll just put like her on there. She's kind of pretty. She looks like she could go along with the air of what I have. I'll either put them in this or something else. Doesn't have to go in this journal that I'm working on. I could go in another one. Hopefully I'm speaking loud enough for you guys. I realize I'm probably talking more softly than normal. Let me see. Hmm. That did not catch. Oh, one thing that happened while I was off and haven't been talking to you guys. Isn't that cute? Can add more to it if we want, or we can just keep them basic. I think I might do a bunch of basics and then add to them later. One thing that happened is, you guys remember the pictures of my studio that you may have seen when I did my studio tour? And when you looked out the windows, it looked like you were in a lovely tree house, right? Well, we got new, new, young new neighbors, and they felt they were allergic to the trees and didn't want to clean up the mess it was making, so they cut them all down between our two houses. Oh, I cried. You guys, I literally cried because it took away my tree house, and now... I have to look at their backyard, and because they're in the middle of a, a project in their garage, they have everything they own in the backyard out of their garage. So it's a horrible mess out there. And I have to look at that every day. And oh, it's just been disheartening. That's another reason I haven't even wanted to be in here, you know. Because my beautiful, beautiful, pretty uh, image is gone. So it's been a bummer. Sure hasn't made things better, that's for sure. Sweet couple, just adorable young couple, but too busy to do yard work, too busy to deal with leaves and berries, and they just didn't realize that it was a sound barrier, it was privacy, it was um, shade for them. Oh my gosh, they're cooking in the hot sun. They had no idea how much shade that, that um, the trees, there was like um, probably six or eight trees they took out. Uh, and they, I guess they didn't realize the shade that it provided. So now they're cooking in the sun in their house. And it's not even summer yet. Oh, look out when summer comes. So he started to plant some trees. But it's going to take five to ten years for them to grow. And they're just like a, a um, what are they called? Like a, almost like a eucalyptus, but not. They, they grow them in Italy. They're really tall and narrow, green. And they don't. They don't lose their leaves and stuff, and uh, but they'll be great. But they're never going to give us the privacy and shade that that they're used to. They just won't. They're not going to get it from those. It takes so long to grow them because there's already some in the yard and in the along the back of the fence. And so, oh well, you know. But it devastated me because I lost my beautiful view out of my windows, and now I'm just looking at, you know, junk on the patio all day, every day. And there's not a pretty yard anyway, so it just worse. So Greg and Joe are going to probably build some latticework fencing on the top of the fence to extend the fence up so 
we will be creating shade for them, but privacy and a sound barrier because they kind of like to party a little bit. So, you know, they just weren't thinking when they did it. Or we tried telling them, but they just didn't want to hear. And uh, now they're regretting it, but it's too late. There's nothing you can do, you know, it's down. So they're down and then they shred them all up, you know, so it was like sad. All right, so I'm cutting out some goodies that I thought I could use on my various bits and pieces. Like this one's a good one here too. There are full sheets of this paper as well uh, that G did um, in her on her Etsy shop. So. Hopefully you've gotten your bits and pieces out and you've got some papers. I mean, you could use any paper and just rip it up. I mean, as you saw, I pulled out some of my papers and I'll probably rip into some of these. I was hoping there was another one with this rose on it, but yeah, just barely. I, I still could use some of it though. So maybe I will here. Alrighty, let's see. Let's get rid of this white edge over here. We don't need that. Okay. And I'm thinking, I have a, maybe a brown one, huh? That's too white. Well, of course. I don't, I never seem to have the right size piece of paper, right? <laughs> Doesn't that just always happen to you? Like you're trying to do something and you just don't have the piece of paper that you want, no matter what you do. And I end up making it too narrow. Ah, I tore that crooked besides. My hand eye really is way off, goodness gracious. That's what happens when you don't craft. I haven't crafted in three weeks, so almost four. It's been a long time. I should say on video, I've done a little crafting at the house here by myself, but as my husband's been out doing stuff, so it's left me a little bit of time, but honestly, I really just mostly rested. Didn't do a lot of crafting, kind of just took some time away from it. Okay, so. We've got that on there. Now I wanna put something else on there. Maybe I could put one of these other smaller ones on there. Oh, I, I do like these. I do like these. I like them kind of at an angle. I'm gonna go this way. Maybe that's good. Okay. And we can decide on a focal point, like a flower or a word or something later, but I kind of wanted to just make a bunch of these bases. Although I hate to just make bases and then not um, do anything with them. Hmm. Right. What else could we put on there? Well, I do have another lady. I guess I could, there was some smaller ladies here. There's just a few small ones though. There aren't that many. Now I wish I'd move that up a little bit, but because I want to see that rose back there, and I just don't think I'll see it with that on there. Oh, these two ladies. We could put them up there, and then I could put a word down on the bottom. Give everything just a tiny bit of ink. Don't need tons. Just kind of go around the edges and age it up a bit. I think we'll do that.
And then we can just put a word there. So now we have these two to stick in pockets. Perfect for journaling, right? Um, what else have we got here? Let's grab another one of these. Or let's do, do one of these. And then someone has something extra to write on, you know. Let me see what I have for pieces here. Actually, that's not bad going across there like that. Just cut the um, edges off a little bit. I think I could just cut that down just a bit more. Getting better with this ruler. I'm still not as good as some of the other gals, but I think I'm improving. Okay, whoop, that's upside down. I'm gonna go that way. I still want something behind it. How about some words? Let's put some words back there. Do I have any? I've got a lot of other colors. And I've also got words that look like this. It makes them all brown though, right? Everything's sort of a brown with the pink. It's not a bad thing. It's just that it's almost too white. This one's not bad. Let's try this. Let's see. So how wide? sort of cleaning up this mess here. Oh, I want to use that one. I'm not sure about that. All right. Let's get rid of this. Oops. I don't have a lot to tell other than the hubby's been working. Hubby and Joe were out our neighbor Joe, our good friend who did our floors with us last year on about a million other projects. Um, I've been working on my daughter's patio and on her deck, put in a new stair tread and um, had to pull out rotten, some rotten decking and fix that. And then they took out some decking that couldn't be fixed and couldn't be matched. So they added a cement patio for a little fire pit and chairs, which she is adoring. And they've been helping her work on the backyard. She did put in a whole new front yard. So busy bee at Jolene's house um, for my hubby and Joe. And like I said, they're going to be working on our backyard project really soon here. So I'm excited to get some new fencing up to kind of hide everything. isn't it? Where did I put my... Oh, it rolled all the way across my desk to the other side. I'm not losing my mind. I just felt like it. Okay, so that's what's been going on. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything new and exciting other than we both have been getting medical tests and stuff, so we're waiting on more tests for him. And to see if last time when he had everything, you know, if anything has changed, if anything's grown or gotten worse. So we're holding our breath for him as well as me. So we're hoping none of it's the big C. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't, but um, last test would determine that for me. And then uh, for my hubby, he has got one, he did, did a test on Saturday morning, an ultrasound to see if he has cancer. And then, well, they would have to do a biopsy after this, after that ultrasound. If, if there's something going on and then um, we'll hope not as long as nothing grew and it stayed the same and there's no changes we're good and then um, he still has another ultrasound to do I think mid-June boy it's really hard to get tests scheduled around here it takes months and months to get anything I 
think that would be cute with a little bit of book page behind it. Now, you know I was ripping book page right and left, right? So it seems like there should be some. I don't quite need all that book page. So let's take a little bit of it off. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got a few done. I do have something else I want to do, so I'll probably stop at this one and then we'll show you what else I wanted to do. I don't just love these tiny little cards. These are so cute. Sometimes I don't like to use this glue on old or vintage papers because it will sometimes discolor it. So we'll see what happens. It's great on everything else. It's just when something is really old, old paper, sometimes it will discolor all the way through when you put the glue on there. There we go. We can add, so we've got this cute little booklet that can be put inside of a pocket and written on. And other little goodies could be put in there or not. And isn't that sweet? Just a hint of whatever's on my Cute, cute, look at that, adorable. So we have some cuties that we did. Another thing I wanted to try um, was, now that I'm getting all these scraps again, goodness gracious, is to take a sheet and do some stamping on it. Now, I wanna create some <coughs> labels to use that are more old world looking, not your everyday, looks like brand new, um, just got came out of the box. Let me get some water. I'm sorry, my <clears> throat got super dry all of a sudden and just started cracking. Okay, I want to use the bigger ones to make some little journal tags. So what I want to do is I have uh, signature stamps. I have all the little stamps. And I would like to, and then I have some that are also signature that aren't part of the set. They were, I bought separately individually. So let me get those out. I think I'll use these. Let's see. It will fit. I'll be able to get two and maybe one of the skinnier ones over there. So we're just gonna have to see. And I'm just gonna use my Distress Ink because I don't want it to be particularly bright. I don't know if this is gonna work. I might need to re-ink my... I don't know if I'm going to get anything. This looks funny. Um, I, need to, I need to stamp onto something. I thought I had a stamp sheet next to me. I kind of do, so let's just try this. Oh, yeah, that gave me... That's fine. That works. Let's... Let's, oops, nope, that's not what I want to do. Come on, you can do this. I know you can. Not that tough. This is just distressing, so it's not as um, strong as some of the archival ones. We want to leave it for about five seconds. And I do have a really skinny one over here that I think I want to steal. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Look how cute that looks. And wait till I cut that out. That'll be adorable. I was thinking I might want one of these little, little skinny ones here to just use because I don't want to waste any paper. 
Where's my block? Oh, there's my block. If it got any closer, it would have jumped up, bit me, and said, Hello, what are you doing today? Or it might have bit me and just said, I'm here, fool. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. That made cute tags. Didn't that make cute tags? Cute. I mean, you can do that on any piece of paper, but since these are already the right size, I'm like, I'm going to use these. Why not? I only have a few minutes, and then I'm going to have to stop just because I'm not feeling that great right now. I was okay when I first started, but my energy goes very quickly. I probably need to eat something again. I have to eat every couple hours. Okay. Um, let's see how this is going to look. I didn't really get that dark enough. I need it to be darker. Okay. And I know that that is the caveat with this. Obviously, if I used some archival ink or some of the other inks, um, but I wanted these to not be in your face. Honestly, I just didn't want them to be super bright or super loud. So I'm, I'm kind of getting what I want here, you know. But I use this ink so much, I probably do need to re-ink the pad. I'm actually going to go up the side with this one. There we go. Those are going to be so cute when I cut them out. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Will that fit on there? No, it's too big. What else have I got? Hmm. I really don't have another one. Those, those are the, my skinniest ones. So I either do another skinny or I do one that's kind of like, maybe I'll do this one. I'm going to roll up my sleeves there. So I know what I'll be doing this afternoon. I'll be cleaning ink pads. Let's hope I put enough on there. I did. It's hard to see, but they're on there. Okay. And in just a few seconds, we have five tags. Doesn't that have fun? So we can have all kinds of goodies if we want on there. And we could make them darker, like I said. I'm looking to see what I had that I need to cut. I need to cut some more of these. I printed a whole bunch, but I just need to cut them out or get them and to cut out or whatever you want to call it. I know I have a bigger one of these. I think that would be fun to do one on. I mean, there's these. Oh, I could just do it on these. These would be fun because I do have that color in there. Oh, gosh, I got a cramp in my arm. I think I want this one. So if you don't see me, um, I'm, I probably, I'm going to say I'm probably not going to make one three times a week, but... I do have a whole stack of things on my desk here that I want to make, so I may go ahead and turn on the camera for those. Um, and if I do, you know, then you'll see a video. And if I don't, if I'm, well, I'm getting better, you know, I might not do much. Because it's a lot. You have to set up. You have to figure out what you want to make. You have to set it up. You make it. You got to clean it up. If you don't finish it, you need to finish it. So, you know, it does take a lot out of me. And um, I always knew I wouldn't be able to make videos forever. So 
they, I may quickly be coming to a time where I'm not going to be able to do them too much. I, what I'd like to do is always show you what I've been working on at home and maybe what I might have in my shop or, you know, do as a private sale. So I'll try to keep doing that if I can. Ah, it moved on me. I was trying to get that flower right there. My guess is I got past it. No, I did it. Yay. Oh, that came out good. Look at that. Those are cool. Cool, cool. I see another one down here I want to do. I've got more of these. Like I said, I, I printed off a ton. So I'm all good to go with that. Yeah, that's cute. Cute, cute. So I'm really liking these. I'm going to... Probably when I turn off the camera, I'm going to finish maybe most of these sheets with these and then cut them out so I have them to use. I think that'll be just super duper fun because I'm wanting to put uh, labels and things on things and I'm like, oh, you know, these are too bright or they're too contemporary and what I'm working on is very old world and very elegant and it just kind of just doesn't fit. So I really want to do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do one more through there. And then I think I'm going to call it quits for today. I just wanted to come and say hello, let you guys know I'm still with you, that I don't really know what's going to happen yet. We have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I just don't know if there's more. I know what is going on right now, but there may be some more things um, that will be revealed in this last test I have today. If you're seeing this on Monday, and fingers crossed there is no cancer. I'm praying I don't have any Anything I don't know about, I can just deal with what I've got. You know, it's enough. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. See, that won't fit there. That won't fit there. I think I have a small one that might fit there. I have to look through my, through all my darling little stamps. So thank you for coming along and having a play with me today, a little craft with me. Hopefully you got out your stuff and you did some crafting and um, maybe made some, use some of your scraps and made some pretty whoops sorry guys things are just a mess here made some pretty goodies with me i'm hoping that you did and maybe you made some scrap tags to use in your journals and then maybe you made some wonderful little uh, labels with just some so you can draw lines too by the way if you get if you have any kind of a template you could draw lines around and cut them out and make your own um, labels you don't just have to use stamps so whatever you do have excuse me I highly recommend it and I want to thank you for letting me play today I love you guys I've missed you so much and thank you for giving me the opportunity to craft with you and show you what I've been up to and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you all very soon you guys hugs and kisses Bye bye <laughs>